kind of um anyways so today has been a very long day <sighs> i'm hot it's like 90 something degrees out basically i'm moving from apartment to apartment so i'm moving up a floor so i have this whole little rack that the front desk lets me use i just had some movers come and the movers just helps with like all of my furniture and the big stuff and I'm just going by myself now. I already put all my clothes up. These are just all the coats. Um, what's left? Pretty much just random stuff. All of my bathroom stuff. I have shoes. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm just going back and forth, up and down, up and down. And I'm trying to get majority of all my stuff into this other apartment by today. And then, to, cause I have till Friday and it's Wednesday. And then tomorrow my friends are gonna come and just help me um what are they helping me with this car is like broken so fuck it's a lot of work but um my friends are gonna come tomorrow and just help me with like a lot of bags of clothes i'm giving away and i told them if they want to go through it first they can and then i'm just gonna take the rest to like a donation center um, and I'm selling some as well, but I just have so much to even go through. I would need someone to literally help me take pictures to even sell it. And I just would rather just give it to someone that needs it because it's just a lot of work. So going up, so yeah, that's what I've been doing all day. I just thought I'd just pick up my camera and just make a little vlog out of this and when everything's completely done, I'll do like a new apartment tour, but I'll just show you in the meantime. Um, so I went from a one bedroom to a two bedroom and the building I live in, they only go up to two bedrooms. And the square footage is still very small. And to be honest, I'm paying a lot. Like I know people that live in way bigger places and pay way less than me or the same price, but I'm an essential, oh my God. This elevator just closed on me. But I'm in a central location, so I'm paying for location. Um, so I guess it's like you're paying for your area opposed to the actual space. All right, so just to update you guys, um, it's dark now and I moved a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you like once I get back up there, kind of the progress, but, uh, I got hungry. So I ordered some pad thai. I ate most of it already, but ordered from one of my favorite places. I just get pad thai with nothing in it. Like. Just chicken, egg, noodles, sauce. It was very good. Can't forget the sriracha. So that's all I've been doing. I'm very hot and I'm kind of tired, you guys. I'm kind of ready to give up. I'm gonna show you so far. So everything in like the living room area, like all my furniture is moved. I still have all these shoes, all these like little things. Um, but this is nothing. This, this is where it gets tricky my room so all this tedious little stuff all of that middle stuff is like my bed sheets i'm just gonna put that all in a big garbage bag cleared out my closet though so that's good um and then i just have little tedious things so i've been trying to move the bigger things to make it easier so almost all the big things are gone like i had really big uh drawers in my closet with a lot of clothes um I've moved like all the clothes that were hanging because I had clothes in this coat closet. That's all gone. But I still have all these shoes in here and bags at the top. Then my entire bathroom still needs to be cleared out. There's my dog down there. I know he don't want to be in there, but when I'm in and out, he can't be um, free because he will run out the door and I just don't have time to be doing that. So he's a sneaky little dog. So yeah. And then none of my kitchen is packed up yet, but that'll probably be the last thing that I do. It's Wednesday night and I have till Friday, so I have to like give the keys back. But I'd rather, I'm the kind of person, I like to just knock everything out at once. I'd rather just come back and forth, back and forth, make multiple trips than like expand the days out. Um, yeah, and then my Wi-Fi is gonna be in the other apartment tomorrow. 
so that's good because I can go up there now to sleep there because my bed is there, but I'm not going to have Wi-Fi. And I have, like, regular cellular service, but it's not strong. Like, I can't go on my computer. I mean, I guess I could use my hotspot. We'll see. Um, so just to update y'all, that is pretty much it. This is a little tour. I didn't really show my place before because I was barely home before quarantine. And it was cute. It's just very small, and I needed a bigger space. So... You know, I got that. And I'm excited until my place is fully done. Because then I can show you guys a tour. And I'm going to have like a beauty room. And it's just going to be really cute. Probably be like a full, hmm, maybe like a few weeks. I would say a month, but probably not even a month. Because the only new things I'm getting are like little decorations here and there. And then some like new furniture for the little beauty room. Which is just bookshelves, desks. Anyways, I know I'm blabbering on, but this is just like a daily vlog. It's not much to show y'all because I'm just going from this unit to the other unit. Okay, so thank God my building has these carts. So it makes everything so much easier because I just throw it all in a cart and come back and forth. So let's go. So far, this is everything that I moved in here. So I need to sweep over there before I put stuff down. Got my old picture of myself. That's like a bookshelf that needs to be hung up clothes shoes whatever um this is gonna be the other room that's gonna be the beauty room i'm not trying to give you guys a full tour because i want to actually wait till it's finished but yeah this is the laundry area bathroom that's my shelf by the way it didn't come there i had them bring that this i put coats in so far just like a coat closet but i'm probably gonna move some of those to the other room's closet and then use this as like a cleaning storage place for my like cleaning stuff laundry stuff then my actual bedroom is pretty small, but because I'm only like using this as a bedroom and I have that other room, um, I'm not really tripping. But yeah, so I have to put all this stuff together still. And it's crazy because if I told you how much how much I was paying, it's just like my space is still very small, but I live in a great building with great like amenities, good quality, modern and essential area. So I'm basically paying for the area. I think I already addressed this, but it's just crazy to think about because I could literally get the same, I could get, pay the same amount I'm paying in a different area, like the Valley or something, um, and have like a huge loft or like damn near a house. So it's crazy, but I do like this area and I don't even want to show. This apartment has white um, cabinets and dark hardwood floors and the other place had lighter hardwood floors and dark wood cabinets. So I do like this better because it's a lot brighter and I just have a lot more light coming in. Like it's going to be just a lot more sunlight because my other place y'all, like there was no lighting and I had a patio that was a view of the pool kind of area this one i have like a balcony um just like looking over the other buildings um my other one wasn't it was just more of a patio it was huge but i never was really on it because it was just towards the pool so it's like you know um i do kind of like having a balcony better and i'm gonna get cute like little patio or balcony furniture so yeah try something risky y'all like i'm on zach and cody i pray no one sees me Aw, oh, man. This cart is crooked, so I can't even do what I want to do. Let's see. Let me get a good little grip. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, that was a fail because this cart is rickety, so I couldn't even do what I was trying to do. Um, But if y'all ever seen Zach and Cody, this is what it reminds me of when they used to ride on the little carts. <laughs> really wanted to try that, but... Fortunately, this one isn't in the So, I just want to address something really quick. Um, I know this is terrible lighting, whatever, whatever. But, I just, like, I just want y'all to know, it's very hard for me to just keep up with videos for a few reasons. Um, I love YouTube. Okay, this, this lighting is just outrageous at this point. Um, but, I love YouTube. And I really, really want to put out good videos for you guys. And it's like only so many times I could do the same pranks, same crazy things. Like the fact that we're in quarantine, I'm around the same people. Um, 
it's just hard i get a lot like oh your videos are boring or you don't do this you don't do this i'm not a perfect person first of all i'm not a natural youtuber i recently got into this and i'm, I'm still adjusting i'm still getting used to it in real life i have a very reserved chill shy personality even if you meet me you're gonna think like something's wrong because i'm just very chill into myself so putting my personal life on youtube just imagine a person being like that and then all of a sudden just recording it is hard because it's like i'm not fake i'm not gonna act like i have this big personality just to entertain y'all and just to get views um i'm slowly adjusting and oh my god i just found a scuff on my wall probably gonna take that out my deposit but anyways <laughs> um yeah like i want to be genuine and this is my genuine personality i maybe i am a boring person until you really really get to know me or if you've been like my friend for years you're not gonna see like me act out crazy or be this whatever different kind of person um i feel like i talk a lot and i blabber a lot but i'm just i'm very chill so i i don't know what y'all want from me like for the people that say i'm boring or whatever that's just how I am and you don't have to watch my videos if they're boring and I apologize but I'm not really doing anything too exciting these days you know I'm <clears throat> just trying to get stuff done make money outside of YouTube I have other things I do so it's like in terms of income like just content in general before this I'm still with agencies like I'd be booked traveling doing that so it's like I can't even show you that part of my life because we're living in like the world is shut down right now otherwise to be honest it would be a lot more exciting because these couple months during quarantine, aside from me just going to Miami, is the longest I have been in LA. Typically, I'm out the country or just traveling like every other week. Even Daryl knows that because before I was really getting into it, like I'd never be in LA. So that was another thing that set me back from fully committing to YouTube, which honestly, it's a blessing in disguise because that's when I really focused on it because it's like, I'm stuck here. I might as well, you know. Um out of breath been going up and down stairs and talking i don't know i just thought i would quickly say that because it's like obviously i shouldn't listen to comments and the negative things um and i appreciate everyone that do leave positive comments i do see them it's just like i'm human you know those few negative comments do like bother you and do stick out but i'm not trying to focus on that i appreciate everyone that does support me that has subscribed and that does watch my videos I just wanted to say like this is me and i'm not gonna sit here and act like i'm someone i'm not so if i'm not the way that you want me to be i apologize but you don't have to tune in god apollo is going crazy i hear you bro i hear you but i'm doing something <laughs> um and you know as things get back to normal i will be posting more exciting vlogs i'll be doing more things you know but in Miami, it was a very quick last minute trip and most of the time it was just music playing or just things going on. I couldn't record every second. So um, I made the most out of it. But I'm excited to get back to my real life and just be traveling and just showing you guys how I was living before all this. Um, yeah, so that's basically it thought i would hop on here and say that i also want to know do you guys want to just see these daily random vlogs because i can do that i can just wake up and record and whatever i'm doing that day you guys will see um but most of the time i don't be posting stuff like this because i feel like it is boring and i don't know maybe it's not boring to y'all just seeing me talk and do pointless things or not really pointless because i'm getting stuff done but um i could get a lot more videos out if you guys don't mind stuff like this. I just was like, I haven't filmed in a while. I took a long break because there was a lot of things going on in the world. And I was just like, I don't feel comfortable even getting on YouTube right now. I want to just live in real life and really do things without having to record it. So yeah, aside from that, I'm like, I'm back. And I'm just trying to think of things to do because my daily life is pretty boring. So um, let me know if this is something that you think I should continue doing. Like just filming my daily random vlogs uh because i mean of course i can still do pranks and collabs and all that but it's just like only so many you can do before it just is repetitive so but i do have a very exciting video coming for y'all a video with my mom not with her it's gonna be on facetime but it's just an idea i came up with i haven't seen anyone do it and it's funny so i'm not even gonna tell y'all i'm just gonna film it and post it 
but it's something funny and I think would be very entertaining. And y'all haven't really met my mom, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a garbage bag. I'm trying to just tackle this whole room situation because honestly, this is what I have the most of to do. And then like the kitchen and bathroom, but those are things I can just knock out. All this tedious little stuff is what's gonna build up. So I'm gonna take a garbage bag and I'm gonna go ahead and put like my pillows. Oh my God, this only fits like one pillow. Wait y'all, this bag is very tiny. And I don't wanna put it on like a dirty cart. But I also don't wanna waste all these pillows. All right, so anyways, I think I'm just gonna waste them and reuse them. So, cause I sleep on these pillows. I don't want them touching that cart. Um, oh no, I think I'm running out of that. No, I still have a good amount. Yeah, I'm just gonna put all of my pillows and comforter in bags. And then I'll bring that up, take them out, and then reuse the bags for other stuff. So, cause if I do end up getting tired and giving up, I'm gonna sleep upstairs and I need my blankets and pillows. So, like that. doing overall during quarantine and just all this craziness like what's been something have you guys tried anything new discovered new hobbies um like I for sure have I stopped being lazy for things that I was holding off on and finally did it YouTube being one so I feel like in a way it was a blessing in disguise um I'm trying to be optimistic I feel like there's greater change coming in the world and a lot of people that are saying like 2020 is the worst year and you know all this stuff like yeah of course i feel that way too but at the same time all this crazy bad stuff happened in order for there to be a real change in the world like without without all that there wasn't going to be a change everyone's lived in comfortably in their own set lives and routines and once you feel uncomfortable and have to go through things that we're not used to like i feel like a greater change is coming and this all happened um for a positive result so you know, I'm looking forward to what is to come. I really feel like things are going to get better. And this was all going to be for a reason. And years and years and years from now, our grandchildren are going to, you know, learn about this in their history classes. And the world is just going to be a better place. So that's how I feel. That's how I'm looking at it. All right, so I'm trying to stuff this huge comforter into a very small garbage bag i got a new pack of garbage bags and they're like the small kind my ones before were very big so i think i almost got it oh my gosh oh my god y'all i did it i got it in here now i just have the sheets and i feel like they're thin enough to where i can also fit them in this instead of wasting another bag oh my gosh okay Finally, so I got all the pillows and my comforter and sheets into garbage bags. That's the good news. Um, and now I just have like this other pink blanket. But I think I'm just gonna carry that separately. So let's see what is left. So now, all this, most of it is like boxes. I feel like if I just put all, all this stuff in one big bag, it shouldn't be that difficult, but it's just very tedious. Oh, well, this is trash. This is all, like, old shoe boxes. I'm a shoe box hoarder, but moving, I'm like, I got to get rid of these shoe boxes. Unless they're, like, designer ones for shoes that I might possibly sell in the future, I got rid of everything. Like, all my Nike, Converse, um, you know, just random sneakers. But I kept, like, the designer ones because I may want to sell them. You never know. And I feel like it's better value when you have the box still, you know? So... Keep that in mind if you ever if you have a lot of shoes like me keep the boxes for the good ones that you think you might sell in the future but yeah come here y'all it is like 11 something i've been moving since i don't even know what time but i'm taking a break i'm freaking tired apollo <whistles> apollo <gasps> come here <gasps> come here <laughs> All right, so at this point, I'm probably 
I'm pretty much done. I look crazy. So a random hack, you guys. If you're moving and you want to make it easier to move your clothes from your closet um, and transfer, all you have to do is take a garbage bag. My friend taught me this. So you take a garbage bag. You just pop a hole in the front. This hole got really big because it stretched out. This is a better example. Um, you just pop a little hole in the front and you put all the clothes together and the hangers just in there. And then you just scrunch it up and um, tie it at the end. And then you have, it's like almost like the dry cleaners. Then you have a very easy access way to just carry your clothes. I probably have to make like two more trips. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to sleep. Tired, but I don't have Wi-Fi, but I don't really need it. I'll just take a shower and take my ass to sleep. Tomorrow, I'll probably have to finish moving some things. Um, My friend is going to come help me, though. Taylor. And, yeah, but I'm sleepy. Yeah, so, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> You've been bad